right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bears G, back out here at Harbor Island. Well, not really back out here. How long has it been? We said like two months? About two months. It's two been minutes. about, yeah, it's been about two months, maybe a little less, since we've been out to Harbor Island, San Diego Bay. I think the last time we went out, we tried to hit up Mission Bay on a skiff, and we failed miserably. I think I broke that boat. <laughs> but it, I had to trash that content. It was it was a really bad day. I know you guys are like, hey, it doesn't matter if the video sucks or not, post it. I didn't think it was worth it. If I didn't think it was worth it for you guys to enjoy, I would I didn't even want to waste my time. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Wherever you guys are watching from, on the toilet, at work, dinner table, lunch break, anywhere and everywhere. Thank you so much for tuning in. But yeah, let's hop right into it, guys. It is winter right now. It is currently December 16th, 17th right now. It is Saturday. Let me put my drink. I'm about to bring up the tie chart real quick. That way you guys know what we will be working with today in San Diego Bay. It is currently 4.16 feet. We are fishing the outgoing tide. Uh, the tide drops around, let me see, low tide at 11.01 a.m. So right now it is 6.41 a.m. So we got about maybe a solid three hours of fish two and a half hours who knows it's San Diego Bay you never know what you're gonna get you guys already know the motto big or small we're gonna try to catch them all but today got a little treat for you guys um, you guys know Christmas is around the corner <laughs> I posted a poll about this for some reason you guys want to see me suffer for 12 days so I'm not suffering alone this time Ken is joining me <laughs> this guy right here <laughs> all right let's uh, let's grab it Decided to go to Walmart. You guys probably follow me on Instagram. You guys probably see me post about my PTSD with this. <laughs> so we got two boxes. But this year, apparently they did something a lot different. Uh, there, uh, apparently there's four boxes and I got box number three and Ken has box number one, right? Yep, box number one. one Cause he number one. The number one. Number one guy with the Tesla. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon, Elon Ma. <laughs> you guys already know, we are going to be doing the 12 days of Fishmas 2022 edition. So you guys are about to watch us both suffer. Cause last year I did it by myself and Ken was Destroy. laughing. Yeah, he's like killing me <laughs> while we're fishing. So we're going to hop right into it. We're going to open these up and uh, see what this year has That's to offer awkward. the limited edition blue box 12 days of fish miss advent calendar by mystery tackle box <laughs> so let's hop right into it want to open yeah let's open mines first yeah yeah go ahead i don't have a pocket knife on me here you go okay. oh bitch me can you smell that failure the smell of disappointment <laughs> <laughs> pretty cold right now it is like 45 degrees out here uh you have to press that button yeah yeah, 45 degrees out here, freezing our buttocks off. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> like someone said in the BG fishing community, they're not, you know, supporting this, but it's a promising 12 videos. <laughs> <laughs> or eight, maybe eight, who knows. But yeah, did you cut the top? Right here? Okay, oh, it's, it's the front, it's the flap, right? Yeah, it's the flap. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Oh, wow. So, not too bad. It looks interesting. I mean, you get the 12 days right here. It's completely different from last year's box. Uh, where is day one, the big ass number one? That's a big number one, dude. All right. You don't want to go first? You know what, you got box number one. You open it up, right. day one. He's popping day one right, right. now. Number one. <laughs> Numero uno. That's Italian for one. One. Oh, what's this? What is it? Chatterbait, really? Oh, no, clickbait. What is that? It's a Guggen Squad clickbait. Let me see, a clickbait? Yeah. Clickbait ass. Dude, um, he might catch something with this. So, Ken has the Guggen Squad clickbait vibrating jig. It looks like a chatterbait. 3 8 ounce by Catch Co. So you guys Ooh. check that out right there. 3 8 Yeah, so I, I okay. think it's doable. Yeah. My turn. Box number three, day one. Mm. <laughs> it's the same thing. Is it really? But mine's half ounce. Oh, okay, you might have a better chance than that. Here you go, so. <laughs> Let's see if uh, mines catch fish is heavier. You know, we like heavier loads. <laughs> Ken's uh, 3 8 ounce mine is half ounce. What color is this? This color is bluegill and the hook is 5 on. I don't know what I'm going to catch with this, but we're going to give it a shot. What color is yours? It's uh, just in a barcode. 
on, on the, the back. Bark. Oh, uh, uh, bluegill also. Bluegill. His is a four aught size hook, four, size four aught. Mine's five aught. Bend a wire up. Bend a wire, I say. Bend wire down to run shallow. Where do we tie to? Uh, right here in the front of the. Interesting. You know what? Let's put these boxes in because apparently box number three and one was supposed to be completely different. But they're like, oh, you know, we'll, let's give this guy a heavier bait. Yeah, basically. All right, uh, let's open this guy up. Show you guys the bait itself. Ooh, it's cold, my fingers. There it is. That's oh. the bait right there. Yeah. See yours? Looks the same, right? Yeah, just, <laughs> just about. Mine's just fat. By like a quarter ounce. Is mine set up already for deep? How's, what's yours? Oh, yeah, it looks like it's... I you know, know what, um, we can't add a trailer if we want to, most likely it will, but we're going to cast it like this and see uh, if it works. I mean, it has it has the bait keeper right there. That's nice. So, I don't know. We'll see. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to hop <laughs> off of this, get all rigged up, slap you guys on my chest, get our lines wet, and hopefully Harbor Island has something to offer. And also, if you guys have been fishing San Diego Bay, Mission Bay, anywhere down here locally. Let me know in the comments how has it been for you guys. And also, how is this winter for you guys? Are you guys staying healthy? I know the flu is going around. Apparently the flu is back now. And uh, what are your plans for Christmas, New Year's, and all that stuff? Because this year Christmas lands on a weekend. New Year's Day and Eve lands on a weekend. So that's kind of rare that it's happening. So if I don't see you guys then, be safe out there. Take care of yourself. And also, drop a thumbs up. Like this video, subscribe if you already have not, hit the bell notification button if you enjoy these videos. It will help me out a lot and let's get the 12 days of suffering started. <laughs> let's go. All right, we are live. Did you already rig it up? Yeah, it's just... Oh, does it stay on the clip? Yeah. You already put a trailer on yours? Yeah. I'm gonna trail it with the Kitec Pro Blue Red Pearl. You already know. I mean, if it all fails here, we can always move somewhere else. Let's do it. What happened? You know what? This challenge, I'm down with the first cast curse. I'm down with it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever fish chatter baits, but it's like consistent or constant vibration while working the bait. It's more of a reaction bite. I don't feel confident in this bait. <laughs> Five minutes in. I want to go home. I hear back there is pretty good right now. Where? Like Coronado side and all that. Are you determined to catch one today? Yeah. Say, give it like 15 minutes. Because yeah. I know the water's a lot warmer down that way. Is it? Yeah. You want to try Seaport Village? Do it. Yeah, it's a lot deeper over there. I have more fate. <laughs> We're going to start moving south. We are determined to get one on this uh, clickbait. It's a clickbait, bro. Clickbait. It's a clickbait. It doesn't work. It clickbaited my ass. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? Not too good. Well, I mean, we were only fish for like 10 minutes, but... 15. Is it 15? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have it on my GoPro. Oh, all right. <laughs> cold. It is cold. Well, it's warming up. The sun's coming out. Yeah. But yeah. All right, guys. We're making a move. We're going to be moving south now. Um, I should have listened to my Facebook group. They, well, specifically Phil and I think Kevin from the BG Fishing community specifically said the the san diego bay or harbor island sucks so they encouraged me to move south so that's what we're gonna do you mind moving that real quick Which one? bottle but yeah it looks like we are gonna be moving south we're gonna try to hit up downtown uh seaport village look for some deeper water some deeper structure and hopefully we get some over there like i said if you guys have been fishing out here let me know in the comments below what has been working for y'all i'm not gonna give up we are determined to catch one today Maybe two, maybe none. Who knows? At least a bite. 
Yeah. At least a bite. <laughs> so you guys sit tight, don't forget to wipe, and enjoy the show. Let's go. Alright guys, we are at Embarcadero on the east side of it, west side, I don't know. But that's not, not the actual Embarcadero Pier side. But yeah, we're, we're over here. It's a nice day out. The temperature went up 4 degrees. <laughs> it's currently 50 degrees right now. Hopefully we'll get some here. If not, we'll move maybe to the other side of Embarcadero. Maybe cross the bridge. Who knows, so yeah. Let's get to it. Let's go. Christmas cook. Merry Christmas kid. Merry Fishman Kit. Merry Fishman Kit. Dang enough. <laughs> There's like hot sauce caps everywhere. Filthy animals out here. This bait better work. If not, we're gonna fight. I'm, I'm gonna write them an email. <laughs> Your bait, not good. No bueno. Let's try right here. F it. Full send. people on to spot number three Coronado let's go Spot number three, Coronado, let's go. Y'all know how they say, common sense ain't so common. Rook, I'm gonna try right here first. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this point. Pray that I get snagged. Remember, there's a snag point in front of you. Oh. Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> or was it? Left for now. Left for now. Left for now. For now. No way. <laughs> for now. For now. What you doing? Oh. I'm fishing for now. <laughs> Last Fortnite. <laughs> I haven't seen bait, stingray, anything, bro. It's dead. It's dead. D E D, dead. <laughs> anything over here? Hell no. There's a bunch of bait. Dude, all the grass is gone. There's bait? Yeah. Catch one. Everything counts. I'll even catch a little fry. There is a lot of bait. You might got sabiki. <laughs> I know, right? Dude, if these bait aren't busting, then there's like nothing eating them. You want to see day one bait, Mr. Dial? Oh yes, this is day one. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. How do you catch something with? Well, it's made for fresh water. That's one. Yeah, we're both doing it. He got box number one, I got box number three. Oh, you're doing it too? Yeah, you know, there's four different boxes. We're like, yeah, different bait. We both opened it, same, same freaking bait. It just heavier. Yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> Dude, you guys are like the third one too. Yeah, the third fisherman we've seen all morning. Oh, Har no, Harbor Island is dead. Oh, there's man. nobody out there. Like it's the weather. Weather, current, water movement. There's not that much movement in the water. If you look at the bait, they're just chilling. Usually, if you see bait and they're moving a lot, that means there's going to be a lot of current. And you want current. Fish movement. Uh, they're just kind of chill. So we got to find where they're just like... Moving around. Because 
because when there's current there's more oxygen for them yeah over there the water was pulling pretty hard these baits suck <laughs> you should drop shot it'll get you better at uh fishing bait casting yeah slap on a half ounce yeah what brake system are you on right now what setting you don't even know let me see they hold my rod didn't set it up it's all right jesus I swear, if I catch a fish reeling this in, we're gonna fight. <laughs> the brakes on, on. Turn them all on. That right. means your oh, brakes on. Oh, is that how you on. turn on your brakes? Yeah, this is this means the brakes on. You want it to move around, and you clip it up to turn it off. But when you want to turn them off, make sure you turn this one off. That one Wait, across from each other. Is there numbers? No. Or it's just by across. Yeah, oh, go across. Heck? So this is centrifugal. So, boom, popped it in. Let's see how loose your spool is. It's too loose. Is that, so does that, is that for the tightness this way? Uh, how free spooling. If it's too loose, you'll get gaps while you're casting. Then your line will get caught up and it'll over spool. Then you can get a back. So, do I have to like really thumb it exactly when? Or uh, can I just let it hit the water? And you have to stop it when it hits the water. Unlike my real watch, real mine's in. What gear ratio is this? Oh, high gear seven. I have no idea. It's a mystery tackle box. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> so with that reel, when it hits the water, you don't have to thumb it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's way out there. If you catch one on there, we're fighting too. <laughs> like, Ooh, no. like out of nowhere. <laughs> all right, reel it up. Keep going. All the way up. I right, stop right there. Go up a little bit more. All right, stop. Let's turn up the brakes for you because you're amateur. All right, go ahead and go for a cast. Yeah, just don't whip it hard. Just lob it overhead. Don't thumb it. Don't thumb it. See? Oh, dude, that's perfect. Yeah. Just let it drop. You got to learn your release point, too. So with your reel, your, all your brakes are on. I still have to thumb it, though. I still have to thumb it? Yeah. So I turn all your brakes on. Let's see what your capability is when they turn them off. Your leader's a little too long. Too long? It cut like maybe 10 more inches off. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just, I'm not a fan of centrifugal brake system. What is yours called? Magnetic brake. The brake dial's on the side. You get uh, 20 settings. Oh, and mine is like, with just, respect to the... Yeah. It's like, I know, break here, break here, break here. Yep, so Magnetic for you. versus centrifugal. centrifugal. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll turn all your brakes on so you can start practicing with it. All right. But shorten up your leader, though, for you to get better castability. You get more leverage. Don't shorten like mine. I just got lazy. I didn't want to retie. So you want to shorten it where your line's like right coming out like that. Uh, See, that's a little too long. You don't want, you never want your knot to go through your guides. So, that's what all the brakes on. And then, do you, have, you didn't have to thumb it? I have to thumb it still. Okay. When it's windy, your bait, the moment you catch your bait, the wind catches your bait, you'll get loops in your line. And due to the brake oh, system, it'll yeah, slow yeah. it down it's, for you. Okay, okay. So, so you don't miss the thumb. Okay, gotcha. Oh, man, man, oh, man. Here, you use yeah, give me a box. <laughs> you guys asked for it you shall receive 12 days of fish miss day one me and ken skunked out but you know what it's all part of the game you win some you lose some unfortunately today we lost but we will be back out for day two you guys take a look at that Looks pretty interesting, completely different. Sorry if it's kind of dark, I'm just chilling right here in the shade. I know we were just complaining that it was cold, but yeah, whatever. So, day one, the bait was clickbait. It's like a chatterbait, whatever it is, but it's, it's a chatterbait. 
And we trailed it with a kite tech. We literally went from Harbor Island to Seaport Village to Embarcadero to Coronado. Not even one bite. Tons of bait, no movement in the water. But, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Winter fishing is pretty tough in San Diego Bay. Unless you have a boat, any type of watercraft, your chances of getting hooked up is very, very high. And, you know, I salute to you guys that are out there on your watercraft doing your thing early in the morning in the cold. But, hey, I came out and I failed. But, yeah, so day two, pretty excited for that. Well, not really. It looks like <laughs> just hooks. Yeah, it looks like careful, contain hooks on day two. So, me and Ken, we're going to stick this out. It's not going to be like 12 consecutive days, but it's going to be 12 days in a row of us out fishing. Like today, Saturday. Next time out, it might be on a Wednesday, on a Friday, Saturday. I don't know. That will be considered day two. But we'll give it a shot. If any of you guys bought this box, let me know in the comments below how have you guys been doing it and have you guys had any success, either it's fresh water or salt water. I know a lot of guys in the comments will be like, oh, it's a fresh water box, blah, blah, blah. But you guys know what? Fresh water baits work in the salt. Kitech, big example, it works. Top water spooks, it works. Cast masters, it works. So enough of that. We're just gonna wing it out for the next 12 outings and hopefully we get something. But yeah, this blue box is 12 days of disappointment. <laughs> Uh, you know it says right here 12 give 12 days of fishing joy it's more like give 12 days of pure skunk and disappointment headaches and pain and suffering limited edition bass and panfish whatever <laughs> bye fun night away well, it was cool running into uh, BJ and Jared out there in Coronado good luck to them they were having a hard time catching fish too. Um, they're throwing kitex and all that stuff and they didn't even get a bite yet. So I think they're gonna be soaking some bait. So hopefully they catch something. If they do, comment below. I know you guys are gonna be watching this video. And yeah, I don't know. Any final words? No. No? <laughs> right, you, you no. smell that? Skunk. Disappointment and skunk. <laughs> all right guys, we're gonna close it out right there. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed these videos. Comment below, subscribe if you already have not, hit the bell notification button, and until next time guys, good fishing for the most part, peace the hell out.